I'm here on Lane 81 at the National Bowling Center with Liz Johnson. Liz, you've had a busy week. Hall of Fame induction early in the week, Women's Championship later in the week. How did the tournament go for you? Uh, it went pretty well. Um, I shot 676 in the team event. I went to doubles. I shot, we shot 1377. I shot 729 in, in doubles event. And then shot 707 in singles for uh, 2112 all events. So I was, I was very happy with my performance. The lanes were not easy. They were, they were uh, not bad getting in the pocket, but having the right equipment and playing the right part of the lane was definitely a crucial. So a lot of the women this year have talked about getting to the pocket okay, but having some carry issues. And you experienced the same thing that second or the last game of doubles. We actually have a shot here that we'll look at as you talk about what you did to try to overcome the carry issues. Liz, what did you do to help with the carry? That was kind of a rough break on that last shot. Yeah. I, uh, I was using uh, two different balls to start with. I used a Marvel S on one lane and a Nano on the on the other lane in, in team event. And towards the end of the last game, I ended up uh, using the Nano. Coming to doubles and singles, I started out with the Nano. And instead of trying to change balls, my pocket, the percentage kind of went away. So I ended up changing, staying with the Nano and giving it a little bit more loft and coming around the, little, the ball a little bit more so I can get uh, a little bit more rotation uh, down the lane. Great, that seems to help with the carry, correct? Yes. It's always good to leave Nationals in the lead in uh, at least one event, and you're leading two, you're leading doubles yeah. and all events. Yeah. Do you think those scores are gonna hold up? I don't know, it's kinda tough to say. You got you know, you still have some good bowlers coming up, coming in this week, especially at the, the defending champions, so, um, Still have like a little over a month left, and uh, so we'll see what happens. Yep, we will. Well, hopefully your score holds up and you have another title under your belt. Liz, you bowl lots of tournaments all around the world, some against just women, some against just guys. Do you have a different mindset when you go into tournaments bowling against the guys? Over the years, I've, I've just learned that I don't care if you're bowling against Chris Barnes, uh, an amateur bowler you've never even heard of, or the best female. Uh, bowler in the world, um, you always got to treat that player, the players in general, uh, like they're the, you're bowling against the best players in the world. And uh, you don't take anyone uh, for granted at any time.